Hello Magix users, have you ever wanted to do variable slow motion where the video just slowly slows down and then slowly speeds up? It's called speed ramping. Just stay tuned. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Alright, so here's how we do speed ramping. Let's start by just dragging in a video clip to our timeline. And I'll try to make this as beginner friendly as I can. Magic's Movie Edit Pro does have a few tricks to it. So the first thing we do is drag it in and it wants to know if we want to adjust our movie format in Magic's to the video clip and I'm going to say yes go ahead and adjust it. So now it matches the 1080p format in our project. Okay now the next thing we want to do is pick out what part of the video we want to speed ramp. So we'll take our marker right here and we can drag it along and just review the video up here in the preview window. So I'm moving the marker along the timeline. So here's what I like right here where it splashes, does a touch and go. This is a big stick plane, 60 size plane. It's just doing a touch and go in the water and I want to slow that down but I want to speed ramp it down and speed ramp it up. So let's find the section. The plane begins to fly in right here and that's a good place to start. So let's just go ahead and make a cut. We'll use the scissors and then I'll highlight this and press the delete key on the keyboard and delete that. And the clip slid over to the beginning right there. That's because I've got this on which is the mouse mode for single track and when I make edits it'll automatically snap to the right position and it'll take any other clips that were over here and move them right along with it but I don't have any other clips right now but I will okay so now we'll move along and so it does a touch and go here and then takes off alright so that's all we want is just this section right here okay so I'm gonna bring it out a little bit that should be plenty right there I'm gonna make another cut and highlight it and delete and that gets rid of that. Now let's go ahead and magnify the thing with a double arrow down here. This will just stretch out that one video object to the entire length of the timeline and that makes it easier to work with. So the plane comes in, touches the water, touches again and then takes off. Okay so let's start right here. Now let's highlight the object so it's yellow and then we'll go to effects and then we're gonna find speed which is right here we'll click on speed and right now it's set to a, a one to one ratio so it's normal speed right now okay so now let's move the marker and we can see where we want it to be so probably right in here we want to start our slow-mo ramp down so I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to set a keyframe. Now this is the keyframes control panel right here. I'm going to go ahead and click this to set a keyframe and you can see it pop in right here. Now if you don't see this, maybe your windows are just not positioned right. You can go up to window, window arrangement, and uh, reset window arrangement and that'll get everything so it's not overlapping all of these different windows like the preview the effects and the timeline will be, all be positioned so you can see everything. Alright, so we got that first keyframe marker right there. Now let's move forward and we want the plane to just fly in at normal speed. See, where was it touching the water? Right here. So let's back up. Maybe we want it to start ramping down our speed right in this area. So let's go ahead and set another keyframe just to mark that position and then I'll back up a little bit okay so that's going to be all normal speed right there now let's start ramping down to right about before it touches the water say right there by the time we get here we want to be going really slow so let's set a keyframe there now I can go ahead and set it a ahead of time or I can just move the speed here and it'll make one for me. So I'll just move the speed 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to a quarter speed right here. All right. Now, I went to quarter speed, of course, you could see adjusted the length of the video clip as well. Okay, so there's our slowdown part there. And if we play it, let's go back in here. See, it gradually slow down, touch the water, touch again. Maybe I don't want to keep that whole thing slow, so I'll back it up till just after the first touch. There's the first touch. And then as it comes up, I'll start to ramp the speed back up. So I'm going to go ahead and put another keyframe there. And this is at quarter speed because it's set at quarter speed right now. And now it's going to take off again. And so we'll ramp back up right there. So I'll just go ahead and move this back to one, like this. And if you don't get quite one here, don't worry about it. Okay, let's set this keyframe to one. I'll just go ahead and put a zero right here. And then I'm going to hit enter. All right, now it's set to one. All right, now it's going to be one for the rest of the clip. Okay, so now let's play the whole clip and see how it works. Plane comes in, slows down, touches the water, continues slow as we do the bounce again, and then it's going to speed back up. And there it goes. Now we can adjust the length of the speed up and slow down by just clicking on one of these. Get that double arrow like that, and you can move. Let's say we want to stretch this, this speed up at the end out a little bit like that. And maybe want to change this one to make this one a little longer. There we go. Now, when we play it, comes in, gradually slows down, touches, and touches again, and then immediately speeds back up well not immediately gradually speeds back up and takes off so that's it that's all you have to do and I always recommend to go ahead and save your project at that point anytime you make changes save the project because something could lock up you never know and you'll lose your information there are backup copies that it automatically backs up every so often but you just can't count on them I would definitely save it every so often. Now some of you might want to gradually go to fast motion. Well, you can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out the end of this clip a little bit. And then I'll put it on the last keyframe. Now say we want to really speed the plane up after this. Okay, so let's come along. We'll go at normal speed for a while, like right there. I'll set a, I'll set a keyframe. Okay, now say we want to ramp it up to fast speed. So I'll go right there. Now let's move this slider up to 4x. So now we got a really fast speed right there. Okay, so now let's see what that sounds like. See that? Maybe it was a little bit too abrupt, so let's just move this back a little bit. And that one forward, let it ramp a little smaller, a little slower. Okay. There, see that? Okay, so you can do that. And then I could stretch it out some more. And then I could ramp it back down to normal speed again by just dragging this back to one. I'll just put it roughly one. All right. Now let's play the whole thing. We'll see what it, well, let's just play this last part. Here we go. Speeds up. Flies normal. Speeds even faster. And then slows down to normal again so we can see the pilot. So that's it. That's what you can do as well as slow-mo. You can do speed or ramp up to fast motion. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more content that I'll have available on my channel. Bye-bye.